Hey guys, it's Manaya. So let's dive straight into this lower body workout. So what we're going to do are two sets of 20 high jumps or jump squats. The next exercise are leg presses and you're going to do three sets of 15 repetitions. And you're going to try to do at least 245 pounds or as close as you can get to that. Keep in mind that your legs and torso should make a 90 degree angle and when you push, you push with your heel and when you're coming back to the starting position, push with your quads. If you're looking to get big, thicker thighs, the leg press is the machine for that. The next exercise are leg curls and you're going to do three sets of 15 repetitions and we're going to make sure that the bottom lever is just below your calf muscles and you're going to curl your lower leg as far as you can without lifting your thighs off the pad. And you're going to want to hit at least 90 pounds of weight for the leg curl or as close as you can get to that. Next are elevated barbell squats. And for this, you're just going to use a barbell of at least 100 pounds or close to that and take some weights and stand on top of them with your tips of your toes on the top, not your heel. And right now, I'm showing you how you should properly come up and squeeze your glutes as you come up to help build and shape that booty. Next are single leg kettlebell deadlifts and you're going to want to do at least 25 pounds of weight for that kettlebell. And for this exercise, it's really all about maintaining your balance, but this is a great way to hit the hamstrings. Make sure that you don't forget to switch to the other leg and try to keep your balance as best as you can. And just take it slow, it's not a race, just make sure you hit all the reps. Okay, next are kettlebell swings. I love this exercise because it's both good for your legs and a great way to sneak in some cardio into your lower body workout. So you're going to want to get a kettlebell that's at least 35 pounds or as close as you can get to that. You want to make sure you're swinging as hard and as high as you can to really get the maximum results. Next are leg extensions and for this you're going to want to do at least 80 pounds of weight and for this you're going to want to come down slow for a two second pause before coming back up in order to get full results. Okay, the next exercise are standing cab raise and what you're going to do is grab two dumbbells of at least 50 pounds each and just lift your calves by raising your heel and doing a full motion and as you can see here I'm doing variants calf 
positions in order to activate different parts of the calf. Alright, so the next exercise are calf raises on the leg press machine. So what you're going to do is go on it just like you're going on the leg press. You bring your feet all the way down and have your tips of your toes on the bottom of the leg press plate. And just go ahead and lift up. And again, you're going to want to make sure you're doing a full motion in order to activate your calves fully. And again, here I am switching the position of my feet in order to reach the different calf muscles. And you're going to want to do at least 140 pounds of weight on this machine.